team will use the endoscope to actually follow the nail as Jared inserts it and see firsthand where it's going. Just don't go all the way. Now, once you're in a little bit, I'm going to come in. OK. So we see the is. tip of the nail right here. You can see on the right, there's a pink structure. That's your septum. And it's somewhat getting caught up on that spur on the septum, that little yeah. protrusion. I'm going to advance the endoscope a little further back. There's this bulging structure here. That's your inferior turbinate. Amazingly, Jared doesn't maneuver around the sensitive turbinates. He simply places the nail on the floor of the nose and pushes the turbinates out of the way. What stops us from really penetrating the nose usually is pain. Uh, so he's able to direct the screwdriver around areas of pain uh, to allow him to guide it further back. Are you all the way in? No, I am. OK. At the nasopharynx, the area of the upper throat that lies behind the nose, the team finds evidence that the insertion doesn't always go as planned. Looks like in this area, it may have been misdirected or a different type of object at one point uh, that actually injured this area. So I think now the only question in my mind is how we're able to instrument your nasal cavity and not stimulate a big sneeze from you, because that would be a normal response. A sneeze could produce disastrous results. With this large screwdriver in his nose, if he were to sneeze, it could easily displace the screwdriver, and it may enter the skull base. It may perforate his septum or head into a sinus, and that would be very bad for Jared. A sneeze begins with a sharp inhalation of air. This can pull the object in further, causing it to pierce or damage the back of Jared's throat. The sneeze itself then expels the air with a force similar to that of a fire hose, which can cause the object to tear through numerous different nasal structures. An action like this would cause most of us to sneeze, but not Jared. Is it possible that he doesn't have a sneeze reflex? Our team gets a clue when they note that Jared only inserts the object into his right nostril. This prompts one last examination. Just let me know if you feel any discomfort. First, she agitates the side of the nose where he performs his stunt to see if she can trigger a sneeze. Mm, feels fine. All right. I'm gonna test the other side now. Just please let me know if you feel any discomfort at all. No, it's not comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, then. OK. All right. How about here? Yeah, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> okay. The problem with sneezing is it's essentially an involuntary response. So it is something that is very, very difficult to control. It's clear that Jared is still able to sneeze, but that he's conditioned his right nasal passage to suppress the reflex. And what he's done by repeatedly stimulating his nasal cavity in a controlled fashion is he's learned to suppress his sneeze reflex at the level of the brain. So his brain is able to control this otherwise normal sneeze reflex. And so he doesn't have it, and he's able to pass these items into his nasal cavity. Performing the blockhead feat is truly a matter of training. And that only makes it more disconcerting to watch. Thank you.